How does dimensional analysis work? The five steps are shown for dimensional analysis. Step 1. Identify your given information. Step 2. Identify the desired unit. Step 3. Find equalities that include both the given and the desired units. Step 4. Arrange the equalities so that the given unit will cancel. Step 5. Calculate the answer by multiplying across the top and dividing all numbers on the bottom. For example, to convert 12.5 grams to kilograms, the given information is 12.5 grams. The desired unit is kilograms. The equality that contains both of these units is 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. In order to cancel the gram unit, it needs to be placed on the bottom. Finally, multiply across the top and divide by numbers on the bottom. Twelve and a half times one divided by a thousand equals zero point zero one two five kilogram. Here is another example. To convert eighteen point two kilometers to meters. 18.2 kilometers is the given information. Meters is the desired unit. The equivalent containing the two units is 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. In order to cancel kilometers, that unit needs to be placed on the bottom. To calculate, 18.2 times 1,000 divided by 1 equals 18,200. If you do not have an equality that contains both the given unit and the desired unit, then you must use more than one equality. When both the given and desired have metric prefixes, you must use the base unit as a bridge between the two prefixes. Here's an example of a multiple step problem. Convert 1.22 kilometers to millimeters. The given information is 1.22 kilometers. The desired unit is millimeters. There is no equality that contains both these units. However, 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer and 0 0.001 meters equals 1 millimeter. To cancel kilometers, that unit must be placed on the bottom. To cancel meters, that unit must be placed on the bottom. Calculate by multiplying 1.22 times 1,000 times 1 divided by 1 divided by 0 0.001. 